This thing called the internet. 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 What do you say the internet? The internet. The internet. Can you explain what internet is? Okay. Let me break it down for you in the simplest of terms. This is the end of an entirely new world. They just broke the law. See, that feels over the top to me. Volume the Boom, Tuesdays at 8.30 on National Geographic. There's no time like summer to catch up on all those series you missed. There, that's it. And this is the place to finish to your heart's content. Can't wait to get stuck in. You provide the time. We'll supply the spark. Who are you? The breakout hits of the year and all your favorites. Your wish is on demand. Woo! It was paradise. I'm here to lead you. Day one of a brand new world. Your wish is on demand. It was paradise. I'm here to lead you. Connect your IQ to the internet or download Foxtel Go and start streaming. Yesterday across New South Wales we saw plenty of hail falling with thunderstorms and also some pretty astounding wind gusts above 100 kilometres per hour. Let's take a look at some of the observations. So 4 centimetre hail in Yass, 26 millimetres in just half an hour for Goulburn and Cobra, 107 kilometre hour wind gusts and some golf ball sized hail and quite a few other spots including through parts of the Blue Mountains. Canberra only saw 2 millimetres in the gauge, pretty astounding thunderstorms nearby uh, but that was just the airport. Other suburbs though did see well above 10 millimetres. 35 for Katoomba, 45 for Nullo Mountain and Goulburn, 48 millimetres in the gauge. And this is what it was looking like in Goulburn. It wasn't just rain, it was also hail uh, right down to the ground and you can see pretty substantial size on some of those golf balls, uh, some of those hailstones rather, getting close to golf ball size, more likely around two to three centimetres in diameter. This is what the radar looked like, you can see clear out of Canberra during the early evening, but uh, the storms did continue up through the middle of the night into the uh, parts of the northern tablelands in New South Wales. But for the time being, it is all clear in New South Wales. Here is the forecast. You can see just a few showers and thunderstorms expected along the ranges. Nothing compared to what we saw yesterday. Just the odd storm, mainly for the northern ranges in New South Wales. Uh, it's going to be a much calmer day and a much hotter day as well. So anybody who doesn't like the heat, well, unfortunately, it is coming for New South Wales, that is for sure. This is what it was looking like in Queensland. Some of the rivers still seeing flooding continuing. In fact, we have moderate flooding for some rivers. Here is the observation of the radar, just a few showers lingering through Queensland and showers and thunderstorms around parts of the Gulf region at the moment as well, but nothing all that major there. Here's the moderate flood warning for the Connors and Isaacs River in Queensland. Uh, other rivers are looking at minor flooding at this point in time. The forecast today, you can see showers and storms continuing in and around the Gulf region in particular and a few showers for central and tropical coasts of Queensland. But it's definitely petering out compared to what we have been seeing in previous days. Temperatures at the moment though, it's pretty hot across the north and the centre for this time of the morning. It's still 24 degrees in Adelaide and in Melbourne, uh, whilst in Sydney it's 21 degrees. So a fairly humid night continuing but it's definitely going to be hotter in all of those centers this is what the winds are doing today you can see the cool change limiting the heating a fair bit for adelaide only 32 the forecast there but over the inland of new south wales and northern parts of victoria you can see we've got a bit more of a northwesterly airstream coming in there on the eastern side of that low pressure trough that's why we're seeing all of the heat focus there but cooler weather pushing into southern parts of victoria and also through tasmania today in the wake of that cool change